Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition once again. As always I do hope you're well. Now then, today we're going to take a look at how to record your guitar to your PC. It's one of the things that I get asked about probably more than anything else, uh, so I thought it was high time I did a video on the topic, so here we are. Uh, basically I'm going to run you through all of the equipment that you need, all of the software that you'll need and how to hook it all up so that you can get yourself recording yourself. Um, I guess pretty high on the list of requirements is one of these things, an electric guitar. Let's assume you've got one of those, shall we? Uh, I guess the next thing after that is you need some way of generating a guitar tone. So let's investigate that. Okay, one of the ways that you may choose to get a, a guitar sound into your PC is by using your PC itself as a way of generating that sound. And you, you'll need some modelling software to do that. Uh, what we've got here is a review of the 10 of the best guitar amp and effect modelling plugins in the world today. Um, today being January the 4th 2017 so it's a year or so old but it's still pretty relevant this review uh, nothing drastic has changed in the intervening period uh, this one here the first one they're talking about Studio Devil I've actually used this myself and been pretty happy with the results you can see the price there it's $149 um, not entirely sure what that to works out at in sterling but it's not that expensive Amplitube that's another one that a lot of people uh, seem to sing the praises of as is this one uh, positive grid uh, plenty of people get very good results with this kind of software so what I'll do is um, post a link to this uh, whole review in the description box below this video so you can peruse it at your leisure. Right, let's move on to looking at maybe some hardware solutions to getting a good guitar sound onto your PC. Okay, so if you're not going to use software to generate your guitar tone, you're going to need to use some hardware, which basically means an amp modeler. Now, if you already own a relatively modern um, guitar multi-effects unit, then you will probably already have an amp modeler because most of them these days, and for a while now, come with um, guitar amp simulations built in. So you're good to go. If on the other hand, what you've got is just a bunch of pedals, like a delay pedal, a chorus pedal, an overdrive pedal, etc., um, just that you just run into the front of the amp that you use to gig with, then, well, you know, there are ways around that. Your amplifier may have a line out, and if it's a, what we call an emulated line out, which means that it um, simulates the effect of the speaker on the tone that you're getting, then again, that's um, a signal that you can use into your PC to record with. If, on the other hand, you don't have um, that kind of emulated line out, then you're into the whole world of miking up your gigging amp to record with, which, you know, the, the expense involved of um, getting a decent microphone to do that with, you, you might as well just go with the amp modeler option. You can see a few on screen here that kind of give you an idea of the price that you'd be paying for something like this, albeit at the budget end of the market. Um, you know, uh, baby steps and all that. Or if you're really on a budget, look at this that I've just found on Gumtree, a Line 6 pod guitar modelling and effects unit for the princely sum of 20 English pounds. Um, these things do have the detractors, um, but a lot of people seem to have got very good sounds out of them over the years, and for that kind of money, if that's the sort of price they're going for on the used market, then... I don't really think you can go far wrong, to be honest. The other option is to get your guitar tone from a modelling amp, which is essentially just an amp modeler, but built into a box with a speaker and uh, a power amp unit, so the whole thing can be used as a combo amp that's already got all of your uh, guitar amp simulations and effects and everything 
already kind of there in one place again there'll be um, a way that you connect that up to your PC uh, to take the sound out of the amp and into your digital environment um, there is however one other piece of equipment that you may need I say may need we'll come back to why you may not need it in a moment but I am talking about something called an audio interface let's have a look at those okay the interface is what converts your analog guitar sound into a digital format that your computer can chew on and record and if we look at this one the Behringer Euphoria UM2 you can see that it costs the princely sum of 29 quid and if we look at the uh, verdict on one of the reviews of this it says overall we'd recommend the Behringer UM2 to those with simple needs who can budget only a small amount for a dedicated audio interface those looking to record multiple instruments simultaneously or working with multiple mics will need more channels and those looking to take their interface on the road will need something more robust but if you can manage with a single microphone instrument lining and a single pair of outputs then this will get the job done for the absolute minimum cost in other words it's a perfectly serviceable entry-level piece of equipment uh, if all you're looking to do is hook your guitar up to your computer then it'll do everything you need and nothing that you don't and it doesn't cost a fortune but what's even better is that if you've got um, an amp modeler or a modeling amp then you won't even need an interface like that at all um, most modeling amps and amp modelers I would say all but there's bound to be one or two out there that don't do this but the vast majority of amp modelers these days uh, are also audio interfaces I use uh, a fairly ancient Vox Tone Lab ST because I just like the way it sounds and it gets the job done um, I've had it about six years now and it just USBs straight into the uh, computer and it is effectively the sound card for my PC um, with your amp modeler you may get some drivers that you need to install on your computer uh, but chances are you won't what you will need to do is download something called ASIO for all ASIO stands for audio standard input output I believe and it's kind of an industry standard for hooking uh, up audio interfaces to um, a computer uh, it's a free piece of software and it doesn't appear to do anything you don't get like an interface that you kind of interact with um, it just sits there in the background running and essentially liaising between your multi effects unit your amp modeler and your PC making sure everything goes smoothly so you should by now have an idea of how to get this thing hooked up to your computer next we need to take a look at how you're going to actually record it you will need something called a DAW or DAW a digital audio workstation and that's what we're going to have a look at next okay there are many uh, different DAWs DAWs digital audio workstations that you can uh, choose from from basic ones like the one we're going to look at shortly all the way through to kind of high-end professional pro audio kind of stuff like pro tools springs to mind um, the differences between them are the features that they've got essentially um, if you're looking to do kind of MIDI programming like creating drum parts and you know using samples and stuff like that then you're going to need something a little bit more high-end but for the purposes of this video and this demonstration as I said earlier baby steps all we're going to be looking at is um, how to record yourself jamming along with a backing track essentially so you can record your practice sessions um, as as well as kind of having fun with it but I do recommend that you do record your practice sessions because it's a valuable way of giving yourself feedback um, record what you're practicing and then listen back to it take notes and then you're kind of giving yourself some advice on you know where you need to 
kind of concentrate which things didn't go as well as you thought when you were practicing and which things you thought you might have messed up and you didn't that sort of thing so this is a, a great way of recording your practice sessions now the uh, piece of software the DAW that I would recommend is a free download it's called audacity and there's a link in the description below and this is how you use it okay then the first thing I need to do is launch audacity here it is and then I want to jam along with the backing track so let's go to a folder where I've got some backing tracks this is the one I'm going to use it's called the rumbler basically a G minor blues and you just drag and drop it into audacity like that and it creates a track for it to sit on um, right next thing I want to record my guitar so I look at the input here in audacity the one with the little microphone on it and you can see that it's already got microphone 3 tone selected if this uh, menu box was a little bit wider you would see that that was, that was actually saying tone lab which is my amp modeler and my audio interface basically you choose the um, the option in here which corresponds to your audio interface and all that remains to be done now is to hit record which is the R button on the keyboard and you're good to go here we go Right then, we've got some guitar recorded there. Uh, this is the backing track here, and this is my guitar that I've recorded. What we need to do now is output that as uh, an MP3 that you can put onto your phone or your MP3 player or burn to CD or do whatever you want to with really. So we just go to File, Export Audio, and then we'll just call this Audacity jam and there it is and there you go now if you needed to adjust the volume level for that this is, seems to be taking a while to output so I'll just take this opportunity here you basically got a volume control and a pan control left and right on each track so you can turn each track either up or down or pan it left and right and there you will have now let's go and have a look it finished um mp3 of that there it is audacity jam and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do that that is everything you need to know in order to get your guitar hooked up to your pc in order to record it hopefully it hasn't been as daunting as you maybe thought it was um if you would like another video in this series where i'll begin to show you how to uh, start putting your own jam tracks together or maybe even demoing your own songs then just let me know in the comments section below and before I go just a quick update on guitars for good causes um, I've been tracking the parcel the uh, guitars are due to be here by the end of play on Monday it's currently Saturday afternoon I've got a break between lessons so I just thought I'd record this final segment of the video so um, they'll be here Monday fingers crossed and um, yeah if you don't know what Guitars for Good Causes is then basically I'm um, accepting donations via a GoFundMe campaign the link is below and uh, I then review the guitars and they get auctioned off afterwards in aid of a local baby hospice in um, Middlesbrough which helps children under five with terminal illnesses so a very worthy cause indeed if you would like to pitch in and also I'll just mention that if you would like some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then give me a shout via the details at the end of this video if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson and 
if you live elsewhere in the world you can have a lesson via Skype and um, yeah whichever way you do it your first lesson is free by the way and with that I'll bid you all a good day and look forward to seeing you next time bye for now folks